Let me do a problem to solve an equation using newton raphson method example. Determine the positive root of x cubed minus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. Correct up to three decimal places using newton raphson method. Solution. Let the function f of x equals to x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Step 1. In step 1, find the derivative of function f of x, which is 3x squared minus 5. And then in step 2, to identify the initial value. Take this function f of x. If I put the value of x equals to 0 in this equation, I will get 3, which is greater than 0. If I try x equals to 1 in this equation, I will get minus 1, which is less than 0. But if I try x equals to 0 0.5 in this equation, I will get the value 0 0.625 greater than 0. I won't take 3. I will prefer 0 0.625. Just ignore 3. Take minus 1 and 0 0.625. Why I didn't take 3? I'm going to try to, to get the smaller value less than 0 and smaller value greater than 0. So the smaller value which is greater than 0 is 0 0.25 compared to 3. Therefore, I prefer 0 0.625. So a root lies between 0 0.5 and 1. These are the two points where the root exists. And the initial value is 0 0.5 here. So I will proceed it further now from the equation of the neutron raphson method. Let me simplify this equation here. Uh, where the value of f of x sub n is x cubed minus 5x plus 3 f prime of x sub n is its derivative which is 3x squared minus 5. Take its LCM to get the final value which is x sub n plus 1 equals to 2x sub n to the 3 minus 3 or 3x sub n to the 2 minus 5. This is my new equation of the newton raphson method. Now I'm going to do the iteration process here. Take the equation and substitute the initial value here which is 0 0.5 so this is my x sub n it is the approximate value of the first iteration process you repeat the process again and substitute the value of x sub 1 which is 0 0.647 this is my x sub 2 which is the second approximate value of the second iteration process repeat the process again and substitute the value of x sub 2 which is 0 0.646 this is my x sub 3, which is the approximate value of the third iteration process. You can see here that x sub 2 and x sub 3 have similar values. And therefore, I'm going to stop the process here. Because once you reach to the stage where the last two iterations have similar values, then the process has to be stopped. So I got these values x sub 1, which was my first approximate value of the first iteration process x sub 2 was 0 0.646, which is the second approximate value of the second iteration process. x sub 3 was 0 0.646, which is the third approximate value of the third iteration process. I stopped the process because the last two iteration processes match each other. Look to the diagram here. This is my x sub 2 and this is my x sub 3, which is the positive root. If the values of x sub 2 and x sub 3 are below the x-axis, then the root is negative. Uh, but here the root is positive. 